I love looking at the way different people in the Bible encountered Jesus. And John the Baptist is no exception. Let me just read from John's Gospel. It says, The next day John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he was before me. I did not know him, but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testify that this is the Son of God. What an incredible initial encounter. And yet, actually, it wasn't really the first encounter. Even though John said, I did not know him, the reality is that John the Baptist ministry owed everything to Jesus. When John was still in his mother's womb and Jesus was in the womb of Mary, the two women met each other. And it was at that moment that John leapt in his mother's womb because of that encounter. It's incredible. He says that Jesus was before me. And yet, actually, they were born around about the same time. He's obviously referring to the fact that he knew that Jesus is the Son of God come in the flesh. But let's talk about this recognition a little bit more. He kept saying, I did not know him. I did not know him. Almost as if the cousin was someone that he never truly actually realized who he was. It, it, it's just the most amazing encounter here. And yet God had spoken so clearly to John the Baptist, saying to him, when you see the Spirit of God descending upon someone like a dove and remaining, then you know that is the one who's coming you're proclaiming. So this question of recognition is really important. How did John the Baptist recognize Jesus? Even though he'd been filled with the Spirit from his mother's womb because of Jesus, he didn't recognize him until the Spirit of God visibly descended upon Jesus as he was about to baptize Jesus in the Jordan. What an incredible moment that must have been. The Spirit of God descending in exactly the way that a dove would descend. Not a bird that dive bombs upon you, but a bird that gently comes and then rests. And that picture of resting is so important because part of the key to the recognition was that the Spirit was going to descend and remain. Now throughout the Old Testament, there had been people on whom the Spirit of God had descended. Even King Saul had known the Spirit of God descend upon him. But the test here was that the Spirit would descend and remain. And John had been proclaiming that this one who was coming after him would baptise with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So there was this expectation of a fiery presence of the Holy Spirit. And indeed, when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples, he came in fire. And yet, when the Spirit of God descended upon God the Son, he didn't come as fire. He came as gently as a dove. You see, the dove can rest upon the Lamb. There was something about the nature of Jesus that needed no fire to burn up the dross. There was something perfect about Jesus. And so this recognition that John had was an incredible moment. He was able to say, you are the one. I, I need to be baptised of you. How is it that you're asking me to be the baptizer? And Jesus says, I'm doing this to fulfil all righteousness. I know that John would have had his expectations. He knew the Old Testament scriptures. His father had prophesied over him at his naming ceremony. And all of these things had, had come together in this man's life and he'd given his everything. He probably should have been in temple service seeing that was his father's background. 
But instead of going into the temple, he'd gone into the wilderness. He'd gathered the crowds. He'd baptized them in the Jordan as they confessed their sins. He was proclaiming the way of the Lord. He was bringing down the mountains and he was raising up the valleys. He was dealing with people's sin so that they too could have an encounter with the Lord. And yet when the Spirit descends upon Jesus, he doesn't come as a fire. He comes as a dove. How that must have touched John's heart. And just as I'm talking about recognition, I also want to add another word, testimony. Once John had recognised Jesus, his testimony to Jesus never wavered. He made it plain that he must decrease, that Jesus might increase. His testimony to Jesus was consistent, all because of that moment of recognition. It's great to know that we too can have a moment of recognition. It may not be the same as John's, our calling is not the same as his, but we can still recognise Jesus and bear testimony to him. Mm -hmm.